Hello again, Ron from RV Warehouse. Today I'm going to talk to you about a risk that could be evident within your caravan that you may not be aware of. Just recently in our workshop, one of our customers uh, come in after they had a, had a fire in their caravan inside the cabinet and needed us to obviously fix it up and, and repair it for them. And I've asked the question on how did the fire start? And the answer really shocked me and it's compelled me to come and talk to you guys today about a risk that could be evident uh, in your van and, and we want to keep you safe. So just take a listen here. So um, obviously all of us have a lot of uh, common items, uh, aerosol items within our caravan. Uh, you know, you, various you know, fly, screen, uh, fly sprays and, and, and air fresheners and rid and different things. This particular customer had a plastic basket very similar to this where she would stack all her aerosols um, and, and, and that was all nice and neat and tidy. However, what's happened is through a reaction which is a little bit unclear as to how it happened um, but nonetheless it, it occurred, is one of these bottles uh, started to discharge their contents which then reacted with the ne next bottle. And what actually happened was the, the, the discharge and the next bottle reacted created a chemical reaction that started to produce heat. So once the heat started, of course, then uh, it, it began to creep up the, the bottles and, and the fire started off the labels, all right, and, and everything. So then, as it turned out with these particular people, they had some um, paper towel roll right in next to it. So that heat then started going onto your paper towel roll and that started to smolder that as well. The, then the, the smoke started to bellow very quickly. Uh, a, passing, a passerby walked past the caravan and saw a lot of smoke bellowing from the fridge vent. And he's like, that's not right. Went inside, opened the caravan door, no problem. Opened the cupboard door and as soon as that oxygen got sucked into that space, woof, the whole thing went up in flames. So. The reason I'm, I'm giving you this video today is to just inform you that these aerosols, if stored together in your caravan, poses a very high risk of fire. And given the nature of our caravanning, we tow down a road at 100 kilometres an hour, we're bumping around, we're, we're knocking these things together uh, as we're travelling, it can only heighten the risk, I suppose, that a rupture or a leakage could occur. So this particular one, Glen 20, a lot of people have that. This is a uh, fly spray and this was insect repellent. So very common items that you would expect to have in your caravan. But my advice is do not store these together neatly in any way. Separate these things out to keep yourself safe. Because the last thing we want to see you is, is getting a fire. Now this happened at 11.30 in the morning. Uh, so no one happened to be in the van at the time. Uh, so fortunately, no risk, they weren't sleeping in the van at the time. But of course, if that chemical reaction had happened at one o'clock or two o'clock in the morning and everyone's dead to, dead to the world, one, you're hopeful that your, um, your smoke alarm kicks in, but you are then at risk. You're inside a small, a small box that you've got one way out and uh, that can be risky. So message is clear, it's all about safety today. Um, store your, your, your uh, cylinders away from each other because uh, you don't want to end up having, having a fire start and obviously uh, put yourself at risk.